In this video, I'll show you how to use the factor theorem to find roots of a cubic function. The first question reads, find the remaining roots of the equation 16x to the power of 3 minus 13x plus 3 is equal to 0, when a known root is x is equal to negative 1. To do this, we have to refer to the factor theorem which states that if a polynomial equation f at x is equal to 0 has a root r, and in our case it's negative 1, then x minus r is a factor of the polynomial f at x. To answer this question correctly, what we need to do is rewrite this root like this, x minus r, where r is equal to negative 1. This becomes x plus 1. And we need to take this binomial and divide it by this polynomial. To do long division, we will set up our two expressions like this where we have 16x to the power of 3 minus 13x plus 3. To divide these two expressions, we'll take 16x to the power of 3, the first term, and divide it by x. If you do that, you should end up with 16x to the power of 2. Now you take your 16x to the power of 2 and multiply it to the two terms. That gives you 16x to the power of 2 times x is 16x to the power of 3 and 16x to the power of 2 times 1 is positive 16x to the power of 2. Now you'll notice that your cubic function, shown here, did not have an x squared term. Because of that, you'll have to separate these two terms from this one and add plus 0. Now we will subtract this expression from this expression. This gives us 0, 16 minus 16 is 0, and 0 minus 16 is negative 16x squared. Now we'll bring this term down where I have negative 13x. Once again, I'll divide this term with x. Negative 16x squared divided by x is negative 16x. Multiplying this to both of these terms gets me negative 16x squared. And this term times 1 gives me negative 16x. Once again, I'll be subtracting these two expressions. This expression minus this expression gives us 0. And negative 13x minus negative 16x, that's like saying negative 13x plus 16x is positive 3x. Now we'll bring this term down, plus 3. And I'll divide 3x with x. That gives me positive 3. 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times 1 is 3, giving me a total of 0. The fact that we got no remainder suggests that this indeed is a factor of this cubic function. Now that I've made more space, I'll take this quadratic function and write it right beside one of my factors. 16x squared minus 16x plus 3. And we'll set this equal to 0. We can easily find the roots of this quadratic by using the quadratic formula. And I'll use the function on my calculator, which will give me the roots, where this is my a term, this is my b term, negative 16, and this is my c term. This gives me a root of 3 over 4. So let me write that down, x is equal to 3 over 4, and x is equal to 1 over 4. So to write this as a factor, including this, we have x plus 1, x minus 3 over 4, and x minus a quarter. Our two roots that we're looking for is this one and this one. Let's move on to question 2. Once again, I'll use the exact same method as before. This time, our cubic function is shown here. And unlike before, we actually have an x squared term. The fact that one of our roots is x is equal to negative 2 means that we can write it down as x minus negative 2, which becomes x plus 2. Now what I have to do is divide this with that. Using long division, x plus 2 rewriting this. Now, we ask ourselves, what is this term divided by x? It's x squared. 
multiplying this term with these two, x to the power of 3 plus 2x squared. Subtracting, we end up with 0 and 7x squared. Next, I'll bring this term down, positive 26x. Dividing 7x squared with x, we end up with positive 7x. 7x times x is 7x squared, and 7x times 2 is positive 14. Subtracting these, this goes to 0, and 26 minus 14 is 12x. Once again, I'll bring this term down, 24, positive 24. 12x divided by x is equal to 12. 12 times x is 12x, and 12 times 2 is 24. The fact that we get no remainder means that this was in fact correct. We will now write this quadratic right beside this expression, this factor, x squared plus 7x plus 12. For this, we don't need the quadratic formula. I can easily find two numbers that multiply to 12 and add to 7. Those numbers are 4 and 3. So I'll break this down into, well, first I'll rewrite this part. I'll break this down into x plus 4 and x plus 3. Remember, 4 times 3 is 12, and 4 plus 3 is positive 7. If we set this equal to 0, we will get an x value of negative 4 and an x value of negative 3. And these two numbers are our unknowns. And so there you have it. That is how to use the factor theorem to find roots of a cubic function.